everybody and welcome back to another vlog. Today's vlog, well, we're just going to hang out with the animals. Do what we do best. And just spend time with them, get them used to handling. You know, it's having a, a pet, uh, especially a reptile, it's still good to maintain that sense of trust and the more you handle your animal the more your animal will gain that trust with you it's the same same way where you're building that trust with the animal you're trusting that the animal is not going to bite you the animals is also gaining its trust with you knowing that you are not going to hurt it or do, do anything like that so very important um, to handle your animals if you know there are animals that you want to handle um, obviously not every reptile should be handled often but if you're going to make something uh, how do I how do I word this if you're going to train any animal really that's really the key is uh, gaining trust with it so and I believe you can do that with any animal but every animal is different some animals are uh, more picky than others so um, different things will show trust in different ways so it depends on the animal but I'm talking about that because it's enrichment and it, it helps my animals helps them you know feel comfortable every time I take them out and handle them and it also helps me if I want to do an educational program which I'm planning to do at some point uh, I don't have to worry about anyone getting bitten or you know people being scared of an animal because they're afraid it might you know may bite them it might uh, make sure nothing shows any kind of aggression so that's my goal so right now I'm calling all of these animals my am ambassador animals and uh, eventually I'd like to get new enclosures for all of them and keep the racks only for what will become my breeder snakes which I don't have any of right now I don't know if I'm going to breed any of what I have here right now or not I haven't decided uh, exactly on what I want to breed I have some things in mind but I have to see how the market is and I also want to see what might be needed in the market when I'm ready, when, when I get to that point. But, yeah. Anyways, now to get more into the video, I want to show you that I got a few things. So, I got this cart thing to put all my miscellaneous reptile supplies. Because I wanted to take it off that spot. It kind of looked ugly and... Uh, I have a small exoterra that I use to keep tarantulas in, or eight. I, it's empty right now. I don't know if I want to get another tarantula. There's also a dwarf gecko that I really kind of want to get. So I don't know. I may be going with the dwarf gecko over another tarantula. But due to its small size, I don't have much, much options. But I would like to do something with that but I got this cool shelf and it's a cart shelf thing rolls and it's just perfect because I can wheel it around and uh, you know you know I got the doobie roaches right here you know it helps because when I have this door open it helps because I can keep it right in front of so I don't have to travel for like over here or over here over you know and the door is in my way and it's just so much easier to go from right here to right, you know? So, same thing when I'm feeding 
off my snakes which actually I need to do so we'll do that later on in the video so got Moses Julius Joker and no Pete. Who's my buddy? So no Pete's my number one. He's the oldest one that oh the one that I've had the longest here. We've been through a lot together, bud. I was looking at old baby pictures of him the other day. And I just can't believe how how big he has gotten. I, he was so small when I got him. It's, it was hard to hard to look at the pictures and believe how small he was. He's like my kid, you know. He's my he's my son. All of my babies here are they're my kids. They're more than they're not just pets. They're my kids. There's Joker. My buddy. He's a really good boy. Again. Hanging out with my animals today. Okay. You good boy. Aww. He hanging out. We'll feed him later. Hang out with him right now. Mm -hmm. and Julius. Look at him. He's a creamsicle corn snake. I want to show you how pretty he was. Really good. Really good colors. Really popped out. Really good. Moses, um, I need to get him more weight. He's really good. He's really mellowed out. He used to be such a Spitfire, very striky and hissy when he was younger. He's chilled right out. Now he's a dwarf boa, a Central American dwarf boa, so they are a little bit more, um, at least when they're younger, they tend to be a little bit more, more moody. But that's okay, that's my Moses. I love him no matter what. There he is. Love you, bud. Mm -hmm. Look at him. He's so adorable. His eyes. Look at him. He's so adorable. But yeah, I just figured we'd check in on everyone. Now, of course, we can't forget about Lars over here. It's nighttime, so. And turn the night light back on and that's something I'll show you next there oh he did he went in his eye we'll hang out with Lars during the day look what I got guys cookie now has a light so it just came today. Um, so it is the Exoterra Terra Skylight. Um, this is now means I am one step closer to creating Cookie for bioactive enclosure. Unfortunately, with the cost of this light and everything else I needed to get, I just couldn't afford both at the same time. So now that I got the light, then all I need is the rest of the stuff. So next month, I'm going to get this stuff for Cookie. And I'll also be able to afford enough for Cosmo as well. And then all I'll need to do is worry about the plants, which I have a friend who's going to help me out with plants and stuff. So I don't need to worry about buying those or at least buying too many of those. But... I'm very excited to completely transform both of these, both my Crested Gecko Cookies enclosure 
and my leopard gecko Cosmo enclosure. But let me show you what this light can do. So. Guess I gotta be, hold on. There we go, that's probably better. So that's gonna be the daytime. I'm just gonna go with this being maybe cloudy overcast day, maybe. I still have nighttime, I guess. I don't know, maybe this is also a cloudy overcast one. I don't know. It's hard to tell, but all the different light settings. Another night one. But yeah, just different. Look at, there's like, there are different settings for... I, I, like, I, I gotta play around with it still and figure it out. But it's really cool. So I'm going to put it back on that one. Yeah, that matches that one. So perfect. So I'm very excited to show you guys this. Because I've been actually wanting to get this light for a while now. And see if it's perfectly right on the top there. So I'm actually debating on getting a different light for Cosmo. Because I don't know if this will work with plants. Uh, I more got it just for a, a viewing light so I can see her and see what's going on in there more than a light for her or more than uh, you know what I mean so uh, but I think it does help her because I do mimic the uh, day and night I you know turn this on at night time and then I switch it in the morning to that and then when it gets dark again I switch it back to that so um, I just follow you know what it is here outside and just do it when you know do it that way or when I get up in the morning or right before I go to sleep if I don't I don't really well I don't know if this can be on timer or not but but yeah I that's what I do manually so, I'm very happy with the way these uh, are slowly turning out. I mean, little by little, I'm getting stuff. But things are getting better here. That's for sure. All right, now, I've got some food for Cookie. Let's turn the light on. Actually, that while I get... So, there she is right there. There is the beautiful girl. Now I got some fresh watermelon Pangea. There we go, it's right in there. There she is. Pretty girl. So, that's there. I'm going to now shut. Shut it so she doesn't jump out. And, uh, put this back onto her night mode. And now, might as well give her another spray down. Because it actually is raining outside here today. And will be tomorrow as well. So, I always try to mimic exactly what it is outside here. As far as the weather goes. So... There we go, it's nice and wet. Looks good. There's yellow water droplets on the top there. 
Looks pretty in the blue light, doesn't it? Oh, well, there we go. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that I now have a Patreon up that you guys can join for exclusive content. And the money is will greatly help me going towards taking care of my animals, getting better gear for vlogging, as well as other adventures, and maybe even traveling at some point. So, don't be afraid to join my Patreon if you can. Obviously, it's, it's going to be five bucks, and that's it. Um, again, don't feel obligated to, but if you do, I'm going, I'm, I want to do regular exclusive things, uh, uh, live streams and uh, different things of that nature for people who do decide to join my Patreon. So again, no obligations, but I just told you what uh, the five bucks will be going towards. So I hope you guys uh, would love to come hang out on Patreon. And if not, I understand. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Just hanging out with Lars here. Can't have a vlog without showing Lars in it. So I figured I've made the an executive decision to show Lars to make an appearance at some point in, in, in every vlog. How do you like that, Lars? Do you like that news? <laughs> Give my buddy. <laughs> He's been roaming about all morning. So he might be tired right now. Guys, what you doing, buddy? What you doing, bud? Hanging out. So there you go, guys. Now you saw Lars. We're gonna show him, as I said. In every vlog at some point, even if it's just for a couple minutes or a couple seconds. But, you know, I think Lars deserves to be the star of the show. What do you guys think? I think he should be... But who doesn't love a tortoise, right? We all love tortoises. We all love... Hopefully we all love Lars. If not, what are you doing here? This is an animal page, not a people page. And there, and there he goes toward all my stuff that's on the floor that shouldn't be because I'm getting a new uh, shelf set of drawer things to replace this thing. So all that shit's going in, going in there. So I have uh, stuff out on the floor that shouldn't be. I'm just waiting till that gets here. There he goes. He's going underneath the desk. Alright, well, it's dark on that that side, so see you, Lars. See you, buddy. See you later. Alright. Rodents look pretty thaw to me now. Let's, uh, feed my hungry guys. Um, 
start off with with Moses. Where is he? He's in the back. So we'll wait till he can come closer and uh I guess we'll start with no feet. <laughs> to no feet. He's hiding up there. Look at the buddy. <laughs> no feet. Alright. That was a perfect strike. I accidentally squeezed my uh, my phone, my button, and closed the turn the phone off and stopped recording. So <laughs> that's what happened there. But there's no feet. The only problem is how's he going to deal with that? Yeah. Come on, bud. And then, air. Oh. Deal with that. Alright. Alright, Moses is to the front and ready. Look at that, buddy. There we go. There's our mouse for the amazing perfect he is a very trusting snake Moses he actually really good with finding it and targeting and not missing at all so let him eat yes julius i'm gonna feed you next come here buddy and of course you're going all the way to the back and these i'm gonna feed off these pinkies so i give them each three um both julius and joker are getting three pinkies there you go, bud. There you go. Alright. I'll let you deal with that. While I... Feed... My buddy. That's Joker. He's a good boy. I got something for you, bud. Alright, come on. Hey, bud. Mm -hmm. Here you go. <laughs> you got it. Alright. Alright, looks like Julius is ready for his second. There we go. <laughs> he was coming right out. He was ready. He was ready. He's the fastest eater of all of my snakes too. Look how fast he does. Well, there is just a pinky. He should be on probably hoppers at this point that I can feed them but I just have pinkies I gotta use up before I can get more more mice so but that's what I'm gonna get I'm gonna get hoppers adult mice for Moses and then weaned rats for an opie 
he's already ready for his his last one. All right. Look at this guy. Look at. <laughs> he just loves it. He just. He, he, he can't say no to that. You know. I I, I can't say no anyways. <laughs> Let's finish up the last two pinkies for Joker. You have one right there. There you go. Took that so nice and dainty. And the other one, I'm just going to set right up top here because I'm not going to. He kind of. He's not as fast. So now we're done feeding all the guys. So. Everyone's all set. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Remember guys, treat all living things equally. All creatures, all animals. We can all coexist, we're all one. Including plants, trees, just remember, respect the earth and love one another. And I'll see you guys in the next video.